Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday in FC24, we had one of the biggest icon SBCs that we could possibly get, and it seemed like nobody really even cared. And I think we all know the reason why. We're going to talk about that today, and it is Sunday. That means new Mixed League Team of the Season cards, including Messi, are coming into packs. But there's really three SBCs that I want to look out for today. And of course, I do want to touch on the whole situation, the drama of this game that is going on right now. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go to those SPCs first from yesterday and talk about the upgrade packs that we got. Wow, a lot of market movements based on the upgrade packs, guys. First of all, let's start off with the big kind of, I guess we'll call it the top tier, the bigger ticket upgrade pack. It's not as big as an 86 times 2 in terms of the rating, but it is way more craftable for the menus. The 83 times 10. Again, this is kind of like the landmark upgrade SPC of this entire year. Now, the interesting thing about this SBC was it was the exact same requirements as always. An 83 rated squad and a team of the week or a team of the season. And guys, because it does require team of the seasons and team of the weeks together, team of the week cards. We mentioned them in yesterday's video. Again, we said very explicitly that it was going to have to be a just team of the week requirement to make these cards go up. These cards are getting destroyed. Is this the end of team of the weeks? Guys, every single SBC they keep releasing now is a team of the week or a team of the season. And I think it might be that way through the rest of the year. And every single Wednesday, we're getting tradable team of the week supply. Even though these cards aren't in packs, they're being used in SBCs, I think, less and less with TOTS cards being more readily available to basically everybody in the game. Now, could these cards be toast? Probably not. They'll probably still fluctuate through the rest of the year, but I think they are going to continue to drop lower because team of the season cards are cheaper than those. TOTS cards are like 17, 18, 19 K and those are 22. So I think those team of the weeks can actually drop down a little bit more, but the 83 times 10 in general, it's a good SBC. You just can't expect to get a lot of team of the seasons from it. I'm up to 97 team of the seasons pulled. I did actually get lucky enough to pack one yesterday from an 83 times 10. I wouldn't expect to get a lot of them from these though. This SBC is purely there to help you craft any player SBCs. If you're working on the big icon SBC that we got yesterday, or maybe the player pick that comes today, that's probably going to be icon related. That is the best thing that 83 times 10 is for. And I mean, to give you a chance at a team of the season, right? So that is that SBC yesterday. The other upgrade pack that we had was the 81 times five League One and D1 Arkema upgrade. This is our weekly league specific upgrade, right? The bigger one. 81.5, again, as we mentioned, we saw the pack code leak for this and we were not excited for that. But honestly, guys, I packed a blue from this yesterday and a lot of other people did as well. I know when you look at this, you're like, wait, an 83 in an 85 rated squad with a team of the season to get four or five 81 rated in this pack. Like, it's very possible you get a very bad pack out of this. But guys, I think it's worth the craft. When you look at it this way, this SBC, if you have a team of the season in your club or a team of the week, this SBC is 20,000 coins to do. Who is not going to take a chance at a team of the season pack pull from the league specific with the League One and D1 are coming having so few rares? I think it's still a very worth it SBC to do with the craft of the menus that is going on right now. I think it's still worth it. The price tag just looks a, li a little bit much because it requires a team of the week or a team of the season. So, you know, we can open a couple of these throughout the week. Some will be good. Some will be terrible. But we did see a TOTS like in, I think, almost every other one that we did yesterday on stream. So it is definitely worth a try with like, you know, the random daily packs that you get since it is very easy to craft. Now, the player species, let's transition into that because we had two yesterday as well. Only one of those was ones that would expected, though. We had the Mbemba Team of the Season center back SBC. Not a lot to write home about here, to be completely honest. The best part about this SBC is it is basically free. It's a 23,000 coin Mbemba. So if you need a 91 rated card and you have some 85s, get this done. It is an 85 squad and that is it. The best other thing about this is if you need links for Silas or if you need links to Aubameyang, because actually Aubameyang is a little difficult to link. You need those Marseille links for him. This card actually does that for you. But for most people, this is not one they're going to use a lot of. It's not even 90 rated, so you can't use it in the cup. So that SBC is not that great, but it is there and it is cheap. So we do like that. 
let's talk about the Icon SBC guys because we did get R9 Ronaldo. He did drop. And I don't know why, but they somehow tied this into the Nike What the FC promo. Celebrate Nike What the FC and earn base Icon Ronaldo. Okay, we're here for the Ronaldo, not the What the FC stuff. 27 squads, including, is it two? Either two or three. I think it was two. 92 rated squads. And then you have like four 91s, four 90s, four 89s, four 88s, a couple of 87s, and then an 86, 84, your silver, and your bronze. And that's your R9 SBC 27 squads, guys. Now, coming in at a price of 2.8 2.9 million coins i've seen it at 2.8 i've seen it at 2.9 fodder's fluctuating just a little bit i would not say fodder went up with this maybe some of your like 92s or 93s will move a little bit and lazy sell a little bit better because if you think about it for a 92 squad and even some of the higher 90 and 91 rated squads i would believe that people will be purchasing these 90 plus players because those are the ones that are hardest to get right to put into this sbc um you know it's it's an okay value sbc it's all right i would say it's like seven out of ten because it's r9 and it is him you know like guys it is an R9. Just like we talked about with Dino about a month ago, it's a full meta top tier icon on this game. If you want the card in your team, you go ahead and you do the card, you get the icon, right? And you can use it for the rest of the year. Is he like bad because he only has one playstyle plus? I've heard a lot of chatter about this. Um, no, I don't think so at all. He's R9, guys. I know that I have not used him this year, but I had R9. 91 r9 the mid one i packed him in fever 22 a lot of you guys remember that and i used him for the whole entire year and he was great for the whole entire year he's just r9 he is going to still be a top five striker in the game even only with one play style plus in my opinion so if you want to use him this is your chance to craft if you've never used r9 before and you're grinding the menus this is also your chance to craft you have 60 days to get an r9 to your team which is an otherwise unobtainable icon throughout the rest of the year so you know what it's there it's the kind of the same thing again as dino it's there if you want to craft it go ahead and do it and i think the price is decent i don't think it's amazing but i think it is decent it's a lot cheaper of an r9 sbc than it's been in previous years uh but honestly when i think about this sbc yesterday guys and with all else that is going on in this game right now nobody's talking about this and it's crazy this is the craziest icon in the game. Like when you're opening icon player picks and icon packs, what do you hope to see? Brazil, Striker, R9. Barely anybody is talking about this SBC because of EA's massive mistake, which still looms large over the community, guys. The whole Red Champs player pick with League One Tots, all the drama around that, that is just putting a whole big damper on this game. Even myself included. Guys, yesterday the title of the stream was I packed Mbappe, but EA um, destroyed the hype or ruined the hype. That was literally what we were talking about yesterday because, like, it even, for me, made me not want to enjoy my Mbappe pack pull as much, which is crazy, right? Um, it's just how mistakes happen on this game and how we get frustrated with the way they do things. We're still frustrated. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated as well, and I want to speak to that today a little bit more. I know we did a lot yesterday. We are going to have a full video on the second channel of me sharing more in-depth thoughts yesterday as I did um, on that channel. We will have those there. So watch out today on the second channel. We're trying to uh, continue to post over there. I'll link that up above right here if you're not subbed up there. But there will be some more thoughts on that whole situation there. And some of my insights, some of your guys' questions. I know some of the questions you guys have had. I read the comments. We talked about it in the stream yesterday, so some of your questions are going to be answered in there. I also acknowledge Nick RTFM's tweet and all the stuff going around about boycott FC24 and all that sort of stuff. So we talk about that in that video as well, so make sure you check that one out. Now, the last thing as we continue on through this video here is the evolutions. That was kind of the, I guess, second to last part of content yesterday. We had the League One team of the season Evo, guys, and this Evo, you know what? I'll be, I'll, honest, I'll be honest. I don't like it. I think it's just okay, but it does give for these league-specific TOTS upgrade Evos, I think it gives some of the best playstyle pluses of the three playstyle plus that have been given out for these evos you get press proven quick step and incisive if you find the right player for this this could actually be decent right i know a lot of people are doing hakimi uh because he gets the 99 pace but to me do i want my right back to have no defending playstyles in may no like sure 99 pace that's cold right but the rest of the card no thanks so that one for me is not the greatest maybe i'll find somebody in here that looks great that i would like to put in an evo but you know it's free so if there's somebody if you're a fan of the league one or if you've got a favorite player from your nationality that you want to put into this um then go ahead this onahi card you know 89 rated 
That could be Evo a bull again here in the future. He's got three playstyle pluses, but you never know. That sort of thing, right? I do want to point out really quickly that there are some absolute gems. One of the craziest Evos in this whole thing is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. If you get this 86 in for him out of a player pick, this card is literally, compare the stats between his team of the season and this Evo, right? He has the same pace, the same shooting, one better passing, one better dribbling, and who cares too much about the physical? 4-5, he's 4-5. This one maybe has a little bit better playstyle pluses with rapid and power shot. Quick step, incisive, and press proven though. Still with the high low work rates and the and the four five, that's crazy. If you get this eighty six of Yang, that is literally as good as his team of the season. It is three hundred thousand coins. So I think that one is nuts. Lacazette looks decent. Jean Ro, if you still have that card, looks all right. Uh, so there's a, some there's some gems in here, but it's not too crazy and nothing too wild to write home about. The other part of content that we did have yesterday, I can't go into the store because I have cards in my unassigned, um, but. It was the 700 and the 750k pack as expected, and it did make League One team of the season prices drop down. We'll talk about that. Some of these cards that were extinct are now no longer extinct. We'll talk about prices a little bit at the end of the video. I don't know if I'm going to open any more store packs with coins. Now, of course, we're not doing any FC point stuff like that. We're definitely being way more outspoken about that, and I mentioned that a lot in that video in the second channel, but I did want to mention that those store packs were out because a lot of people uh, were testing their luck with those so let's move in today let's talk about sunday what's going down in this game today besides team of the season messi i mentioned that there are three sbcs that i'm looking for today on this game the first one is the premium league upgrade packs guys remember two weeks ago for prem we were all mad because the prem premium upgrades that we wanted to see to try to grind to pack team of the season cards did not get released until Tuesday. It was going to be Monday, we thought, and then it was Tuesday, right? But last week for Bundesliga, they put out those premium Bundesliga upgrade packs on Sunday. So I'm hoping that they do that again today with the League One and D1 Arkema, the combination premium upgrade, which does require 11 rare golds, we would assume, as all the other upgrades did. So want to watch out for that today. I think that'll be a decent upgrade to open, guys. Again, if the 81 times 5 has a decent chance of a team of the season, that premium upgrade pack, albeit it will have a lot of dupes to craft in and out of, should have a decent chance at a team of the season as well, just because, once again, there are so few golds in the League 1 and the D1 Arkema, a lot less of a pool to choose from. So watch out for that. That's SBC number one that I'm looking out for today. SBC number two is a similar leak that we've talked about in the past day. It is Lacazette. I mean, if we didn't get Lacazette yesterday, I'd have to imagine that he would be coming today, right? I do believe this is the official card. I don't, I don't know if this is like um, a leak from League One or if this is just a really cool graphic created by the leakers, but that is his official card, um, they say. And again, it needs to be five star, five star to bring the hype, but that is going to be hopefully a nice, fun striker card to try out because the playstyle pluses for me don't look that great. It looks kind of mid, but the stats do look decent. So we'll see what EA do to juice that card up um, and to put him in the game. I don't think he would fit any Evos, just looking at the card right there, but um, maybe that's something we have to consider as well when he gets dropped. So I think that could be today. We still have the rumors of Team of the Year Vieira, but if we had R9 yesterday, if we got R9 and Team of the Year Vieira back to back days, like that would be that would be mental. So I don't think that's gonna happen, but you never know. So that's one thing I guess you could watch out for today related to a player SBC. The other SBC, the final, the third one that I want to mention today would be an icon hero or sorry an icon encore player pick dude the hero player picks right here in front of me and i haven't opened these in weeks honestly i haven't opened an icon player pick in weeks to be honest guys i don't know if you feel the same way about me but it feels like icons are getting more and more behind the curve especially because we haven't had new icons since the golazo golazo promo and we haven't had any during team of the season when all cards have moved to three play style pluses. It's crazy to think that some icons honestly feel like they're falling behind the curve. I still have some in my team, um, but they're starting to get that way, right? With all the insane and cheap team of the season cards that we do have. Now, this is the last pick that we got. It was a one of three, and it had Thunderstruck, Winter Wild Cards, Team of the Year, or Future Stars icons. Now, here's my question. Are they going to add Golazo icons into this icon player pick today? Because this last hero player pick had Golazo heroes in it. Fingers crossed that they do. If they take out the Thunderstrucks, keep it Winter Wild Card, or just go Team of the Year, Future Stars. Uh, I guess they didn't do add Foot Birthday. Well, they got to add Foot Birthday first before they add Golazo. What are we doing, man? What, what are we doing with these Icon player picks? I don't know. Yeah, if we get an Icon player pick today, which I think we will, I don't even think I'm going to craft that, man. Like, literally, I... I 
if it's only good if you get a top five icon, like an insane, insane icon, right? So even for those, I know they're fun to do and the menus are really craftable. So if it's something you like to do, maybe go ahead and do it. But I don't even know if that's going to be that high today. I really wouldn't invest for that because SBCs of that nature have not been moving stuff on the market that much recently. So I do think we will get an icon player pick today. But just now thinking about that, like, what is the hype for an icon player pick when you have all of these team of the season cards in packs that are uh, stupid cheap and um, three play style pluses? So let's talk about these team of the season cards as well. But going to the market a little bit, I'm not sure what else we're going to get today except for the mixed team of the season cards as we turn into the Ronaldo Fred Mares squad of team two. These guys are going out of packs. And look at this right before Ronaldo is going out of packs. Bro is on the market and no longer extinct. He was extinct at 11.4, and he started to get listed up, as have Gioro and Taram. I just bought a couple of Taram's at like 800,000 coins flat. I do think that he'll rise up a little bit today as people realize he's on the market and they want to try him out. This is my only card that I want to trade with in regarding League One Team of the Season cards because these cards, man, wow, they just keep dropping, and it's wild. But a lot of people want to try him out. Gioro, I'm staying away from, in my personal opinion. But Ronaldo is on the market, which makes me wonder, is Messi going to be on the market today, guys? This is his official card. This is the Messi card we're going to see today. That is his official dynamic image. Those are his stats, and those are his playstyle pluses. Incisive, technical, and finesse plus. Here's my second question. Are they only going to give Messi a four-star weak foot, or will they make him 5-5? Five, five? The foot birthday is 5-5. Five, five. Are they saving a 5-5 five, five for a 99 Messi over the summer for like Copa America or something? If they didn't make Ronaldo 5-5, five, five, I think that is probably what is going to happen, guys. My guess is this is going to be a five-star, four-star Messi, but he's going to have three playstyle pluses, albeit this is going to be the, mess the best Messi card in the game with those three playstyle pluses. And the stat boost that he has, which isn't that big, but it is a team of the season messy. So I bet he's extinct today. I bet he is. I mean, he's going to be so super difficult to pack. And I don't think there's a whole lot of, you know, people like super excited to try to open packs today for Messi alone. I'm sure there will be people opening 750k packs. And the only reason I would maybe open a store pack here in the next week would be to try to pack Messi. But I even think that if I was going to do that with coins, I would wait until the end of the week for La Liga to be in packs before I would go um, and do one of those. That's just my personal opinion. But that's messy. A couple more cards leaked for today. Al Dasari, 99 pace with finesse, rapid plus, and acrobatic plus. He's got 95 dribbling. That'll be a pretty cheap card, but he's a team of the season plus. If you like the Saudi League links there, you'll have an opportunity to use Al Dasari. Jamie Vardy. Man, there's been some great Jamie Vardy team of the season cards in the past. He's back as the Tots moments, of course. Leicester in the EFL Championship with the links right now. Quick step, finesse, and chip shot with 90 pace, 96 shooting. This might be a card to keep your eye on because Jamie Vardy is a big name, of course, with uh, being at Leicester. Kind of like a, not so much a FIFA legend, but just kind of like a Premier League legend. Uh, for all the Leicester City accolades there. And then Toby Alderweireld. Hey, who's making Team of the Season mixed league? Because they're Spurs fans. We're Tongan one week and Alderweireld the next. Former Spurs. That is Anticipate Plus Jockey and Power Header for him. That's a decent looking card. 89 passing. I bet he has a long ball pass. Um playstyle as well and then of course there's going to be more cards because since we usually see these mixed league teams being around was it like eight to ten players or something like that there will be some more cards that are leaked today i would expect but this would be the last day for mares for fred for balotelli do i expect them to rise out of packs honestly guys i don't know if i do i don't like really any of the tots cards that are in packs right now league one for sure I don't think I'm investing in any of these. Some of the cheap ones uh, could move up, but I honestly think I would not invest at the moment. I, if I was going to be trading on this market right now, I would be trading with out of packs cards and really not messing with these too much, guys, because these cards yesterday, besides, ooh, Marquinhos just got rare. He just went from 800 to 950. So, like, you know, that's a bit of a spike that you could have traded with. I think yesterday his lowest was like 820K. The graph's not loading. 840, and he just went up to 950. That's kind of the same thing that just happened with uh, the ROM, right? I got him at 800K. He went up to 900. He's now getting sold off a little bit. Hopefully goes back over 900 today. It just seems like these cards do not have that much hype and they just keep dropping. Like look at Zakaria, 70,000 coins. He might even be his minimum price. Yeah, he is his minimum price. Uh, Aubameyang's 300. Lucas Hernandez, 300K. Todibo, 91,000 coins. Dembele is 5.8. 
I'm surprised Mbappe is not even on the market yet. If we look at D1 our Kema cards, you've got Renard under 600. Basha is 600k. You've got um, Karchawi, who's 1.6. Like, I, I don't think I'm buying any of these cards. If you're going to do it, it's risky. It just seems like nobody wants to buy League One team of the seasons. Maybe they'll get too cheap today and they'll have some fluctuations. But it has been a lot more difficult to trade with these cards than it was with the Prem or with the Bundesliga. So since they don't have that much hype, it seems I'm going to be staying away. But the out of packs cards, guys, if you want to trade, this is the place to be. Here's a quick example that I just pulled up. Durgan Kolair. Bundesliga was last week, right? For sure. But look at yesterday. His card goes from 170 flat up to 190 multiple times per day. And right now he's even 168. These are the sort of fluctuations that if you're looking to make coins, if you're making that move and I'm saying you're not spending any more FC points for sure, and you got to move the market a little bit and work the market, it is a incredibly easy time to make coins. You just trust the footbin graph. You look at these fluctuations and the weekends are the best times to trade because weekend league is going on. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even Monday, I would say too. Monday is kind of the end of it, but today will be a good day to trade. I'm not trying to motivate you to do something you don't want to do, but if you're looking to make coins, even if you're on a lower budget, just go look at some cheaper cards um, like Okocha maybe, or maybe Van Persie if he sells, or Prince, right? She's also kind of like a fodder card. This Berbatov is great for lower budget. So even if you're on a top tier budget, look into some of those more expensive cards. And I know not everybody wants to talk about trading and investing this time of the year in the summer, but we all need coins, right? And if you're running low because you've opened too many store packs of coins, it is a great time to put a little bit of effort in and to be flipping cards on this game. Lastly, really quick, I did try Mbappe yesterday. He is as broken as you would expect. I went with the engine chemistry style, had a hat trick in his first game, crazy broken animations. It was everything I would have expected from a team that he's in Mbappe. Can't wait to continue to use him. And man, shout out to the Diani SBC. I'm using her as a right center mid and she is unbelievable. What is it, 64 defending? Nah better than that that's how it feels in game um and then basha is unbelievable as well this card i mean that one assist was a disgusting cross to mbappe at the back post so yeah the team is feeling amazing we're going to try to get 11 wins in weekend league because after they you know fixed the glitch to reds they look horrible guys like it's just don ruma and toribo and i've only played one game um i was playing qualies and got that one done uh, that one game, but it looks awful. The Reds do. So not excited about that at all, but we'll probably just try to get our 11 and dip and see what happens after that. But really, we're looking forward to a Sunday today and we'll see if EA spice anything up. They haven't tweeted anything about the whole situation. Um, I'm still rocking with our tweet yesterday. If you didn't see this about, I think the store packs, we're only going to be opening with those with coins. Even on stream yesterday, the people are doing FC points, which we talked about it more in depth and on the second channel. If you want to check that out, that video should be upcoming today on Sunday as well. Make sure you check that out there because it was a really good conversation. I know a lot of people are frustrated and I'm not trying to skip over that in today's video at all. I know a lot of people want to hear my thoughts on that. Um, I just feel like we packaged them really well yesterday. So um, we will get that up on the second channel and I will see you guys there later today. Happy Mother's Day uh, in the U.S. for those that have mothers in the U.S. And if you're here in the States, it's a big day for that too. So I wanted to shout that out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video today, guys. I appreciate all of you, even in the hard times like this. Tune in the videos. I appreciate you supporting me. And uh, yeah, make sure to check out that second video, second channel video because there's a lot more information in there. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It has been Nathan for the Accountant. See you guys there. Peace.